Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's Sunday morning around 7 o'clock. That means it's time for the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. All right, well, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's get shaving. What are we using today? It's a lot of the same stuff you guys have seen before um, because it was out on the counter. <laughs> no name board brush. I, I wish for the life of me I could remember where the heck this thing came from, but I don't. Little Tim's. Cedar log or cedar spice for the post. Higa, thank you uh, to um, this was sent to me by Mati Lindholm. If you're not watching him, go check his channel out. Big shout out to Mati and Mati Lindholm Shaving Supply. So excited for your endeavor uh, that your hobby in wet shaving is growing and you're making all your own stuff. That's freaking fantastic. Uh, so excited for you. I watched your, you, your video yesterday with just a big dumb smile on my face. Uh, so excited for you. And then for the razor, <clears throat> this is the Gold Monkey, um, honed by uh, the Stallion. All right, well, let's get shaving. Uh, I've got, I don't know, when did I shave last? You guys saw it on camera. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I shaved. Don't know if it was on camera or off camera. Anyway, let's get going so you guys can get on with the rest of your day and I can go make some breakfast. I hope everybody had a good July 4th. If you watched my, uh, my meal prep mukbang yesterday, I appreciate it. Still getting some positive comments on that, so that may become a a regular occurrence. Um, mostly because it's eating in front of the camera is weird, but making the hot sauce reviews and doing the taste test is fun. So I enjoy it. <clears throat> or I have been enjoying it, let me put it that way. Um, good 4th of July yesterday. Just chilled at home. Um, like I said, not a lot going on. Wasn't invited to any real shindigs. I had a buddy did invite me to go have fajitas, but uh, just trying not to hang out with a lot of people. And there's the soap, um, which kind of sucks. But I also had a bit of a headache yesterday, so that also <clears throat> made me a little concerned. I just wanted to monitor how I was feeling and make sure nothing developed and it's probably turned out to be just allergies it actually started friday night um, itchy burny eyes a lot of nasal congestion and yuck and then just a low-grade headache all day long um, cleared up while i was rocking i guess because i got everything hot and sweaty and loosened up and then it came back when i finished. So once again, just wanted to kind of chill at home, let the headache get better and make sure it didn't turn into anything else like spike a fever or any of that garbage. So hung out at home yesterday, um, made a couple, made a video, watched some videos, read a little bit, just kind of hung out. It was a good day. A little bit boring, not the most exciting Independence Day, but it is what it is. So I've been watching some of these guys, Mati and Dave Card, and some other fellas knocking out speed shaves. And I'll never be that fast, but I've noticed But I think the trick is, and I'm sure, is <clears throat> big long strokes.
rather than feathering strokes, which I normally tend to do. So whether or not, so if you've noticed in this shave, I'm consciously trying to do longer sweeping strokes. with a lot less feathering <clears throat> just to see if I can speed my shave up and if it makes any difference in efficiency or anything like that as far as like how the shave goes. So far, it works. I still, I, I'm still feathering. I can tell, but that's just habit. First pass, done, very nice. Yeah, man, like I said, if you haven't seen uh, Mati's latest video, he's he's killing it with the brushes and the razor restores and he's making his own soaps now. And uh, I'm going to be getting in touch with his USA seller to maybe buy a puck. And that will be the only new shaving stuff I buy for myself and forever. <laughs> uh, one, just because I want to I want to try his soaps. And uh, two, I want to support him. And like he said in his video, he's not doing it for money or fame or anything like that. He's doing it because he enjoys it and he wants to see if he could do it. And I can totally respect that. So I need to get on the ball and get in touch with his uh, USA seller, Mer Marion the Barbarian, who's a new, relatively new YouTuber, if I'm not mistaken, and they are working together to get those soaps and other MLSS supplies available here in the States. So, so busy talking, forgot what I was doing. Second pass. Excited to see uh, Jill's candlelight challenge. She did a great job. As always, her videos are always well made and entertaining. So also, if you're not watching her videos, go check her out. She Shaves with Jill, one of the few ladies in the wet shave community. There may be more. I know uh, Chapman Collects. And uh, if there's any other female YouTubers out there doing wet shaves, let me know. I'll check them out. Um, Always looking for something different.
All right, that's pass number two. Still got some scruffle on the neck. Cheeks feel pretty good, jawline's got a little roughness, so we'll hit that third pass. Mm. This little brush is a soap eater. I think I can get the third pass done without going back to the puck. Out of camera. Got a busy week ahead so far. We have one testing event scheduled, <laughs> which is going to bring me to work tomorrow for a few hours. On my normal day off. So today I got to get my meal prep and stuff done. Because I won't get a chance to do it tomorrow because I've got a dentist appointment. And then from there I'm going straight to the... Uh, the testing site. <clears throat> so we're starting the week off with a bang. And uh, things go like they did last week. It'll be another busy week. I'm hoping it slows down. One, because people need to stop getting sick. <laughs> you know? Three passes, fantastic. <clears throat> it's a damn fine shave. Always, as always, down in here because I can't get in there really well with a, <clears throat> a straight razor. But that's a technique thing. I'm sure if I've actually worked on getting in there, I probably could practiced. Maybe. Oh, that sun. That sun is picking up. I'm gonna start these earlier in the day, I guess. <clears throat> Figured 7 a.m. would be early enough to do that, but I guess I was wrong. All right, let's get on with the head shave. I have to go back to the puck for this. I watched uh, one of Nomeo's videos yesterday. He's trying to burn through a, a tub of soap by the end of the month. He's a dirty cheater, though, using the uh, <clears throat> using the Marco method to waste all that soap. Come on, man. Oh, you know I'm just messing around. You do what you got to do, because there are tons, all of us, I'm not even going to lie, all of us have tons of soap, and uh, to use one up is a huge accomplishment. So good luck in your endeavor, Nomeo, no matter what you do. I mean, I'm cheating because I haven't been shaving my head. But now that I'm trying to use the soap up, I started shaving my head more often, so. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Maybe I should, in the future, move the camera over, but then that, that offsets me in the sink. I don't know. Lock this on. But maybe I'll buy a curtain. No. Could put up a blackout shade or something. Some aluminum foil, make it like a meth cookhouse. Or like what we used to do when we were in high school. When you wanted to sleep all dang day long. Although I never got the opportunity to do that, but I did have a buddy of mine. He blacked out his windows with foil and hung blankets over the way over the windows. So that he did not get any light in his room and he would sleep all day long 
That dude slept. Granted, we were night owls back then, because, you know, teenagers doing teenager things. But that dude would sleep until like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Ah, cut that mole. Dang it. Now I'm going to have a unicorn spot all day. I'll look like a unicorn that somebody stole my horn. <laughs> what the, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh goodness. Also, I checked the time. That was a uh, about a 12 minute straight razor shave, which is pretty stinking quick for me. Now, like I said, there are guys out there who can do them in three or four minutes, and uh, I'll never be that fast. I don't know if I would ever try to be that fast, but you know, to save a little time for you guys who watch these videos. I could get them down to 20 minutes for a head and face shave. I think that's pretty pretty safe. Also, that's the, <coughs> the algorithm that YouTube likes. Um, I've said it before. 10 minutes. Um, at least 10 minutes, but no longer than like 20 is kind of the sweet spot for making videos that will get um, recommended in the algorithm. Although the algorithm's all wonky nowadays anyway. Like, it drives me nuts because <clears throat> I miss a lot of uploads from my my usual suspects that I watch or try and watch on a regular basis. Because if you watch something, so for example, I watched, uh, <clears throat> I watched a couple videos about comic books, like comic book reviews. And ever since then, I get more comic book reviews in my recommendations than shaving video reviews, which is ridiculous because I watch a lot more. Ah, hit that wall again. It's going to be a nice bloody stump. Um, I watch a lot more shaving videos than I do comic book reviews. But for some reason, the algorithm says, hey, he likes these, and there are probably a lot more shaving vi or comic book reviews that are in that sweet spot. So YouTube likes to recommend them to me, which is hilarious. Because now I don't... Like, my recommends is nothing, or not nothing, but a lot of content that I don't typically watch or don't want to watch regularly. But because I watched one thing... YouTube has decided it needs to show me more of those things. Also, the recommends have changed. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Like, oh, that's bleeding really good. That's what happens when you hit it twice. Um, the recommends have changed. Like, it used to recommend, like, the channels that you watched regularly all the time. It doesn't do that for me anymore. Now I just get a bunch of random garbage. Stuff that, you know, related to the last video that I watched. But, like, I remember in the good old days, all my usual, usual suspects would always pop up in my recommends whenever they put up a new video. So, that's frustrating, too, because now I have to, like, search for it or go to my uh, subscriptions tab, which is where everybody that you subscribe to, it brings up. Just all the all the videos of all your subscribers, like the most recent ones, and search through there to see if you know if there's any videos I haven't watched or want to watch. I don't know. I'm just mumbling and rambling about nonsense. What this means is I spent too much time on YouTube over the past couple of weeks. And I'm starting to like think about how it works because I want to be a rich YouTuber. You guys, I'm, 
seriously, I want to be make a million dollars a month for my YouTube videos so that I can quit working and just film content every day, five times a day, and be just a famous YouTuber. It's my goal. It's my goal when I started this. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a weird, it's a weird morning. <laughs> What's not weird is the shave, with the exception of my unicorn horn. Uh, it's a very good shave. Had a couple little weepers. Uh, some stickiness or tough spots in the usual areas um, but it is silky smooth uh, I'm gonna finish up off off camera because I forgot to pull the uh, I forgot to pull the album stick I know I'll never be a good uh, professional youtuber because I don't set my stuff up and research and edit and all that good stuff anyway <sighs> I'm going to let you guys and gals go. Thank you so very much for spending a little bit of time with me this morning. Let me lock the sun here. Uh, spending a little bit of time with me this morning. I hope the rest of your weekend treats you well. Hope you have a great Sunday, no matter what you do. Hope the upcoming week is... To... Ah, it's been a long time, I guess. I don't know. My outro. Thanks again so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. I hope you have a great Sunday. I hope the upcoming week treats you well. No matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family because it's really important during these unprecedented times. Remember, stay six feet apart and wear your mask. It, they, they really make a difference. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. God bless.